So I've really been wanting students to be able to um, email in their conclusions for their lab. In the past, I've been having students uh, fill out a Google form with their lab conclusions. Um, this is in addition to their lab blogs. Uh, and I've struggled with that because all that data goes into one spreadsheet. And unless I add a, a script like form emailer to that spreadsheet, I'm not able to um, individually comment on the conclusion and interact with those students one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So what I wanted was I wanted So currently, I'm having my students uh, complete their lab conclusions in a Google form, which goes to a Google spreadsheet. Now, I like that because it's really easy for them to fill out uh, upon conclusion of their lab blogs. In our class, we keep lab blogs. Um, but it's not ideal because I'm not able to, in a fluid way, um, comment and interact with each student individually on their conclusion, which is what I want to do. So in an ideal way, um, I like the students to have a simple, simple way to create a Google Doc or have that information go directly to a Google Doc without them having to open it up and create a new one. Specifically, because we are doing um, the blogging off of their phones in class, it would be nice if they could, in a simple, easy way, use their phones to create a lab conclusion Google Doc so we can then collaborate on it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've done that. Um, I'm using this site called If This Than That. Okay, so I'm going to log into If This Than That, and I'm going to create a recipe. Um, and I'm going to set up a trigger. So if this, and I click it, and I say email. Okay. So if I get a new email from, so this will trigger it every time you get a specific email to your inbox, um, an email labeled with something specific. But I'm going to do a new email from search. And what it's going to do is it's going to fire a trigger every time there's a new email that matches a keyword I give it. So I'm going to choose that. Um, and it's going to search for the word lab conclusion. And this is how I'm going to tell my students to uh, put it's titled the subject of every lab conclusion. So I create trigger. Um, and then that. And here I'm going to go to Google Drive. And what it's going to say is it's going to create a document okay, every time that initial trigger happens. And the document is going to be titled from, and uh, I'm also going to throw the subject there in the document. Okay, so it's going to have the title of the lab that the student's going to put in the conclusion. Um, and I set up a folder where I'm going to tell it where to go. So um, for the purpose of this demonstration, it's called if this, then that test. Um, let me go back and double check that I called it that, a lowercase test. So this is the name of the folder. And this is saying that the content of the email is going to have the from, the subject, the date, and um, the body of the email. So I'm going to say create action. Okay. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a test of lab conclusion um, trigger. So create the recipe here. Okay, so here's the trigger set up. I'm going to go ahead and send an email as if I was a student. So I'm working on my lab. I'm going to send an email. I'm going to send this one actually to me. Gmail.com. And this is, the title is going to be lab conclusion because this is what um, if this and that is going to search for. And I'm just going to tell my students to always write lab conclusion. And this is going to be, let's say, was on um, the molar mass of a gas lab. Okay. So this is where the lab would go. They would say, um, in this lab, blah, 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 we uh, tested blah, 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 blah. Our data showed that, blah, 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 blah. Possible sources of error are blah, 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 blah. Um, this lab sucked. I don't want to do it again. Okay. 
Um, so this would be their conclusion. They can ideally do this from their phone. I'm going to hit send. Okay. So here is the email that the student sent to me. But um, if this, then that really should have searched for this lab conclusion title and thrown it into that folder. So let's go and look at this now. So I go, and here is the document. It's from me, and when I click on it, I see the body here of what I wrote in the email. Now, this is nice because then I can go ahead and I can add this to um, my student's portfolio, and I can even set up a, a, a trigger for each individual student, although that would take a while. But I can go and I can organize this, and then I can comment directly with the student from there. So nice job on this lab. Okay. So that's setting up uh, triggers between uh, Gmail and uh, Google Docs.